Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be making this beautiful, rustic DIY love sign, perfect for Valentine's Day. Stick around, and I'll show you how to make it. For today's project, you're going to need a piece of scrap wood measuring 11 inches by 30 inches. This was an old shelf we removed from our garage storage room. You will also need this beautiful love sign that I purchased at Michael's for 40% off, so it was only $9 or you can use any wood word sign that you prefer. You also need a paper plate and an inexpensive chip brush, some Waverly chalk paint in the color mineral or any color you choose, a brown stain of your choice. I'm using the color Honey by Minwax. If your wood is natural, you can give it a light coat of white chalk paint first. Since my wood was already painted white, I am using a sanding block to get rid of any dirt or unwanted marks until there's a nice smooth finish but still leaving the white paint on most of it. You want to give it a quick vacuum and then you're going to want to take a very slightly damp cloth and wipe it down to get any fine dust. Now the next step I'm going to be using a protective glove and our stain in the color honey. I'm just going to start by putting a small amount of stain on the edges to make it look aged and weathered. But since my love sign is painted white, I need to do a darker background. So I've decided that I'm going to add more stain to make the background much darker, which in turn will make the love sign stand out. In my opinion, the more you layer, the better it looks. If you decided to paint your love sign a different color or any other sign that you decided to use for this project, you could always leave the background white with a little bit of stain for distressing and it would look absolutely beautiful. But for me, I didn't want to paint the love sign so I just decided to go with a darker background and I really love the way it's turning out. The stain is really bringing out a lot of texture and color on the backboard and it's really going to look fabulous when it's totally done. Okay, now we're just going to take the mineral paint and add a really quick coat with a dry brush technique just to make the board look more weathered and interesting. You can add as little or as much as you want and you can use a different color if that's what you'd like to do depending on what you're using as far as your sign goes. And now I'm just using a medium grit sanding block to sand some of that paint back off and reveal some of the white paint underneath as well as some of the stain. As always, do as little or as much of this technique as you'd like. And once you have the board where you want it, it's time to do a quick vacuum to get rid of any dust. If you bought a sign like the one that I have, you'll want to remove the little hanger eye hooks as well as the little twine. And once you remove those, just take a little bit of spackling paste and fill in those holes. And now we're ready to attach the sign. And to attach the sign to the board, I'm just going to position it and see about where I want it. I have E6000 glue, which you can get at any craft store. You just want to flip your sign over and place a thin bead of the glue on the back on all the letters. And then when you're done that, you just wanna position the love sign on the board, try not to slide it around. I tried to use these clamps and they did not work. So what I had to do was reposition the sign a little bit and then I just got an old cabinet door that I had laying around and put it on top of the sign, making sure I didn't slide the love sign around. And then I just got two heavy gallon buckets and placed directly on top and let it dry overnight. So the next day I was ready to put on the hooks and some sisal rope. My hubby closed the cup hooks for me and he also drilled the pilot holes. So once I installed the hooks and tied the rope through, I decided that I wanted a more polished look and a little bit nicer looking knot. So I just looped 
the sisal rope around the end of it and I just tucked it down to the back. Pulled it really tight. And then all I did was just take some hot glue, put a little puddle of it on the back, enough where it would soak through. And be careful not to burn your finger, but just press firmly for a few seconds until the glue sets up and hot glue sets up very quickly. And I think that it really gave the rope a much more finished detail. And here is the finished project. I'm really excited about how this turned out. It's a large piece, it's hard to tell in the video, but it's 30 inches long. It's not just for Valentine's Day, it's a piece that you can use all year round in your home. And just adding that rustic board and some rope for texture really makes it a piece that you can leave up all year round. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.